Hello my friends and welcome to episode 97 of The Wanderer. In the last episode we took on Valencia, if you've not seen that go check it out, the score's on the screen, along with the return of the face cam, I hope you guys enjoy that. It's kind of a tester video for me just now with that, um, but we'll get straight into this episode. So since the last game, uh, we drew one all with Strad, uh, Stad René guy scored for them, whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce, and Kukera scored for us, as he always does. Then, we drew two against Strasbourg, rather frustratingly. We had 1-0 down, Kukera and Sung got us back to 2-1 before Gaspar got an equaliser on the hour mark for Strasbourg. And at that point, I was like, ah, the European hangover. I remember it from past football managers, you know. We've not quite got the squad depth yet, um, even last one of the years with Hearts, we struggled in the first couple of months of the season just because of it, um, and then we played Montpellier and we absolutely destroyed them. A 6-2 victory with Soong, a petrol one goal, Adam, and Thib De Bruyne coming off the bench to score a hat-trick with a 9.3 rate, and we had rested a couple of players in that game for today's game against Inter Milan. Uh, if we have a look at this group, first of all, as you can see we are top of the group, Inter beating Man United uh, by two goals. Um, if we have a look, we'll get the score there. It was a 2 0 victory uh, at home to Manchester United, which is a bit of a shock result for me. So, a shock first round of fixtures in Group A. We weren't expected to beat uh, Valencia, and Inter would not have been expected to beat Manchester United either. If we go into the league table, we are sitting fifth. That's not too bad. Everyone equal in games. You know, we're five points behind Lyon at the top of the league, but we're ahead of Monaco on goal difference, and we're ahead of Paris Saint Germain by a clear three points is that so you know they're the teams that beat us last year so we're ahead of them we've had a better start Leon looks strong but we should be able to hopefully close that gap uh, once they start getting a bit of form about us we're going to skip straight to pitch side now we'll catch you there so we come into this game we've got Pollers Beck and goal as usual we've got Zukic, Rabiel and Riquet is a back three. Aluch and Pellegrini at wing backs. Looks with Gomez, McKenzie up top. Soon was a bit tired. Uh, Kukera and Bonnie were rested in the last game, so they return. Team De Bruyne gets a nod over soon after his hat trick against Stra uh, in the last game. Um, McKegg said it was Strasbourg. I think it was Montpellier though. Uh, we're playing against a strong inter side. Uh, all the names I recommend uh, recognize in there. Got De Vries, who is quite well known. João Mario, of course, um, doing decent in the World Cup just now. Well, Faso will recognise his name as well. You know, this is a decent inter side. Looking at their bench, there's not really too many players that I recognise apart from Origi. But again, I don't follow uh, non Scottish football normally. So to see, you know, names that I don't recognise isn't exactly unusual. Uh, we do have a regen here, we'll have a quick look at him, he looks fairly decent, 21 year old Brazilian, worth 27 million. I think we've got a couple better, but you know, he is good. We'll get straight into this now, so I'm going to go with... Um, is there not a... I was kind of hoping that underdog status, but apparently we've not got that today. So... We're going with all that kind of stuff. It uh, came up on the social media as well, just as I was uh, coming ahead into this game. Apparently I said some comments about the Hearts game. I don't remember saying those comments, but it's nice to see uh, Hearts still linking me with being a club favourite. I don't actually remember if I was on their list or not. Uh, but that is nice. Uh, Joe Mario into that guy. Now we're going to try and finish the name with Faso. Into DeMarco. What then end of highlight? Because that's a smashing place to end a highlight. Also, sorry if I look very sweaty. I'm recording this uh, on, well, be a couple of, maybe a week or so before that, so this is released. I'm trying to get ahead because I'm away on holiday, but it's about 25 degrees right now. Absolutely cooking um, here, so that's great. <laughs> I'm sweating as uh, Piemonte gets in front of, I think it was Rabio actually, it was Roquette. Young man will learn from that, but Piemonte puts Inter in front. Not too worried about that. I'm just going to go with uh, um, get creative. 
We've not really had any chances yet. De Bridge plays it across to D'Amico. That's a wicked ball in. Don't do anything silly. It's cleared away by Aluch. McKenzie launches forward looking for De Bruyne. He's played it across, but oh, he's only found D'Amico in a blue shirt. I mean, the blue to the purple looks very, very similar. Um, so I get why he's struggling to make those kind of passes, but still would expect a bit more than that. I actually had quite a lot of fouls here. I'll be having a word with them at half time if we get any half time at this score line. Um, really not impressed with this first half performance. Johan Bonnet, poor cross from the young man. Uh, looks like an absolute bargain by him still. Absolutely love him. Um, to be honest, I like most of our strikers. There's a couple that I'm not sure on, but I do like most of them. Zuketch to Aluch. Back to Rabio into Luca Pellegrini, big money summer signing, into Kukera, he's arrived in against Inter now, first shot was poor straight, the keeper but he parried it straight back to Kukera, and the Czech international has it in the bottom right hand corner, one all, we're looking a bit better since we gave that get creative, eh, so hopefully we can continue on there, Gaglardini, saw these names you see, and you look at them, and when you're trying to, you think, oh, that's quite cool looking name. And then you try and pronounce them for the first time. And you wish you'd practiced. Uh, Lofaso. Lofaso. Whipped in. Pilamonte. Pinamonte, rather. It's over the bar. He's looking very, very dangerous in that inner front line. And which they have three strikers capable of scoring goals up top ourselves. With two more on the bench. All capable of scoring goals. Um, and changing the game. Which is one thing that I always wanted to have at a team is we didn't I felt like we didn't have it at heart and we'd even though when we got the squad depth we always always the players that were on the bench were maybe slightly worse for there's here I'm looking on the bench and I actually see I could bring Tsunami off, I could bring Sung off, I could bring Team De Bruyne off. And it's maybe not that they're better players, but they've got the stats that they can change a game. As Pinamonte did look dangerous, he's got his second goal. It's two one ten Milan now of course. The Amico Gilardino. This left hand side, well our left hand side that they're looking extremely, extremely dangerous. Lofaso, good save by Pollers back there. Get him to cut our fingertips just to tip it over the bar. Keep us in this game. Jerry Mario with the corner, but not great from corners recently. Gomez heads away there. Eh, flicking on as you get to his header. Man United beating Valencia. But not by as much as we were, so right now we stay above them until we play them of course. But we are still had a good start to the group, so hopefully can still get, um, you know, second or third is kind of what I'm looking at here. I'm gonna give him an aggressive here. Expect a much much better showing, particularly defensively. Going forward, we've looked okay. Defensively, particularly down the left hand side, we've looked fairly bad. Um, I don't even know if I've got anyone on the bench to change that. As you get to Rabio, Claudio Gomez, Weston McKenzie. Oh, he's launched it clear and end of highlight. Kukera, decent ball in for Ruke, but he can't get there. Zhao Mario will look to set in on a counter attack, but he doesn't. He said that the debris to Lofasco, they're building slowly instead. Um, to be fair, I even remember our Hearts team is building quicker than this to get forward in these kind of situations, so that's unusual. But we've got men back now. Not that it gives me much hope because they're just going to ping it onto this side and whip it in the middle, and they look so dangerous from these balls. We need to change something on that left hand side. So, what I'm thinking is bring Gomez back, bring Ruiz on. He can actually play this role fairly well. And I kind of want you, I can't even do a drift wide here, kind of. No. Um, but hopefully, with a bit of luck, that'll maybe ease a bit down that uh, left hand side. Just having an extra defensive midfielder there, bringing back him slightly. Aluch into Weston McKenzie, Ruiz launches forward for Team De Bruyne he's picked it down, whipped across Johan Bonny beautiful finish from Bonny, the young man cost us 2.1 million we're going to pay that appearance fee there's no doubt in my mind we're paying that appearance fee I didn't want to trigger it early it would have saved us a bit of money but in this instance I'm really happy paying the full amount to be honest You know, he's been absolutely sensational for us bringing on a damn you know, stat-wise, he's nowhere near as good as Weston McKenzie, but again, I feel like he can change the game. Pollers back out to Zukic. Forward for Aluach. In behind for Team De Bruyne again to latch on to. 
Can we get another decent ball in? Bonnie can't reach it this time. Ruiz picks up the loose ball. Scruffy effort from Ruiz, but on target, and the keeper does have to make a save, but he does get there fairly comfortably. There was no power on it. And it's an elite midfielder coming off for a wonder kid. Don't see that every day, do you? Um, I think we're going to bring Rodriguez on. Pellegrini's on a yellow. He's been struggling on that side. Let's just freshen things up, get a bit of energy. Um, and Rodriguez is always worth a goal himself. Ruiz played across to Luca Pellegrini on that yellow card, of course. A good ball to Johan Bonnet. Can he find a cross? He can't. But the inter defender will do it for us and Teeb De Bruyne with a tap in at the back post from a monstrous challenge from the inter defender on Bonnet. You had to make it, really, because Bonnet is capable of putting that ball in himself. Teeb De Bruyne will say thank you very much and tap home. Pelamonte is still looking very, very dangerous though. Or, I mean, we've not seen much of him this second half. Valencia have an equaliser. That is huge in this group because that's put us on six points with Inter and Man United on three each. Uh, sorry, Inter on three, Man United and Valencia on one. That's in behind again for Teeb De Bruyne. He plays it first time for Kukera. The goalkeeper. I'm not sure who made a bigger meal of that. The goalkeeper or Kukera. Kukera's effort really should have been stronger than that. But um, the goalkeeper gets a hand to it. And then it's almost like he just throws it out of play when he's landing. To give us a corner. And it goes for Gonzalo Rodriguez. Cleared away. Teeb De Bruyne picks up. Finds Rabiot, that's offside, no dispute from me. Four minutes of injury time. I'm going to quickly give a concentrate here. Um, if Gonzalo Rodriguez could get that team talk earlier than what the game wants to give it, that would be handy. Zukic launches forward for Bunny. He's never going to win that in the air. But Aluac onto the second ball. Plays it back. Oh, but he's played it straight to an inter short. He's not had a great game with that. That's two or three big passes he got wrong, but he's got back there. He's got a touch on it, forcing him to play it back. Lofaso, Zukic in with a big tackle. Adam in to help. Just get rid of it, son. Launches forward. G G Gigardlini. Uh, butchered that and a half. Uh, picks it up. Zukic clears away. Bonnie, can we hit them on the counter? Johan Bonnie. Oh, that's a great touch, son. Team De Bruyne at the back post. That's four. The last Champions League game was our first win. This is probably our biggest win. Could potentially even be the biggest win of the series. Since mate just bringing Ruiz on and bringing him slightly further back, having a uh, defensive midfielder rather than a ball winning midfielder in a normal midfield role, we just seem to find an extra bit of gear. The threat down that left hand side team to change. Team De Bruyne getting a brace. Not bad. I don't remember how much money we paid for him, but I don't remember it being much. Um, what a result. That's eight goals in two Champions League games for us as well. Cracking stuff there. Uh, so we'll come back in three games time for Man United at Old Trafford. Seems like a logical stop. That'll be episode 98 as well. I was tempted to do something big for episode 100, but that's not looking likely given my time constraints right now. I will update that more. If the camera is recorded okay and the green screen hasn't flickered, that will stay. Um, but thanks very much guys for watching, hope you enjoyed and I hope we catch you all next time.